Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the fifth episode in the Trevor and his dragon story. Trevor is a nine feet tall giant and his best friend is a mischievous fire breathing dragon. Previously, they won a flight to France. After a lot of misadventures, they finally arrived at Charles de Gaulle Airport. They're ready to go to see Quasimodo at Notre Dame Cathedral. I hope you enjoy it. Standing at arrivals was a Frenchman in a suit and 27 gargoyles, just like dragons but more cute, waving flags with Trevor, written blood on scarlet red, making it quite difficult to make out what they said. Dragons are a clever sod and love a puzzle game. So Trevor saw the flags at once and read our hero's name. He ran straight to the Frenchman, warmly greeted the Monsieur, gave a kiss on both his cheeks with, Hi there, mate. Bonjour. Count de Quasimodo has a carriage here for thee, said slightly frazzled Frenchman, pointing to an HGV. Stuck onto the side of it, an advertising flyer, Count de Quasimodo and his dragon troop of fire. Trevor placed his luggage in the back end of the truck as 27 gargoyles and a dragon went amuck. Dragon setting fire to things and gargoyles with their spout rushing round excitedly to put the blazes out. Trevor knew they'd play for hours if something wasn't done, so hopped back off the truck and joined in all the fun. Till the driver shouted, Oi, I can't stay here all day. In the back, we're leaving now, including you, Anglais. Trev looked to the driver's seat and there, to his surprise, a lovely lady trucker sat with sweetly smiling eyes. Trevor went all bashful and he did a double take. Pretty girl that smiles at him, there must be some mistake. Again a smile and then a shout. Right, you let get on board. No one took much notice. So she cracked her whip and roared. Hearing the impatience in the lady trucker's voice, all the gang got seated. Though in truth, they had no choice. Everyone strapped in the truck, she tore off through the streets, jerking every passenger back hard into their seats. Straight across the traffic lights at 90 miles an hour, up onto a dual carriageway without reducing power. 20 miles of motorway swerved in and out of lanes. Dragon stuck his head outside and left a trail of flames. Gothic towers in earshot heard the chiming of the bell. Gargoyle shouted madly, so the dragon did as well. Pulling up at Notre Dame, the Count was stood outside. Welcome to my country, Quasimodo said with pride. Let me show you where I live, my lovely basement crypt. Totally refurbished and for dragons, well equipped. They trooped down through the cellars, past the coffins and the graves. Brick line vaulted arches, giving way to massive caves. Flaming torches lined the walls, lit pairs of shadowed eyes. Shining out from blackened hoods, from whence came ghostly cries. Even further down they went, the walls became alive, moving monstrous blackened shapes like insects in a hive. Then the tunnel opened out as Dragon gave a roar. There revealed in front of them upon the crystal floor were 14 dragons sipping drinks that smelt like kerosene. Hi there, son, said Dragon's dad. Now tell me how you've been. Dragon's mum picked Trevor up and sat him on her knee, loudly shouting, welcome to our circus family. We've heard so much about you from letters that you send. Now you're here, I name you as a special dragon friend. You've met Count Quasimodo and his daughter, Lady Jane. She's the lorry driver that has bought you from the plane. Lady Jane and Dragon stood apart in deep debate. Then both approached our Trevor in an animated state. Dragon said, Meet Lady Jane. She's seen you on TV and slightly awed of meeting such a great celebrity. Trevor's courage melted with his face a burning red and stammered out a compliment. Then wished that he was dead. Jane reached up and kissed him full upon his reddening cheek and coolly said, uh, so charming, so strong and yet so meek. 
Count de Quasimodo said, let celebration start. I offer you a welcome from the bottom of my heart. So Trevor and his dragon, with the introductions done, parted to the early hours. He'd never had such fun. Thank you for listening. I do hope you enjoyed it. Number six will be tomorrow. And it's what happens the following day. Look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>